Welcome back to another episode. Man, what a tough loss. Six-point loss last week against the Patriots, 38-32. to But we've got some breakout scenarios. Let's see what Mr. Michael Gusecki has for us. Coach, last week was awesome. Back in high school and college, a lot of teams used me primarily as a blocker. But I've always considered myself a receiving threat. It's nice to be treated like one. Keep throwing it my way. I truly believe I have the potential to be one of the best players on this team. And all I need is the opportunity to prove it. So Mike Gusecki, three plus touchdowns or 150 yards. I don't know if I'll be able to get you three plus touchdowns, man, but we'll try. So X Factor QB, we've got to find out a way to shut down Russell Wilson. Wilson's film is incredible, always finds a way to move the ball. There's no such thing as a broken play when he's under center. We need to slow him down. All right. If we blitz too much, he's going to burn us bad. Understood. Hold them to 250 passing. Okay. And we've got an X-Factor linebacker, Bobby Wagner. He's the leader of that defense. We need to slow him down. So, da, 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 da. intercept pass. Need to keep our eyes open. Have one or fewer turnovers. We can do that, I believe. Two players ready to negotiate. So Cordray Tankersley, he did have the pick six. So he wants a two-year deal. We have a ton of cap. We've got fifty-three million in cap. So five point one six, one and a half. Let's give him the deal. There we go. So we gave him his deal. Avery Moss. Hmm. We might let him go. One year, 2.75. Let's see if he'll take that. They even rejected that. You don't play, man. Take a look at our team, see if we've got any dev trait development. There we go. Carlos Bramble is a star. Not bad, not bad. On the defense. Let's see, Godfrey. Is he still developing? Oh, man. Dang, this guy's still developing. I thought I played him in pretty much every down that I could. Oh, well, let's go ahead and get into this game against the Seahawks. And we're still on top, so we got to find a way to break that tiebreaker. I'll see you guys in a bit. In two. Here's a second and two now from the 33. And to give this time to the tailback. And he's able to take this one up to the 35. 35 now as they come up on first and 10. From the gun, it's Rosen. He's got it to Williams. And they'll get him down after a pick. Continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. And he'll give it here to his running back. Give me that first. Throw on first down with Josh Rosen. That's complete to his tight end, Mike There we go, Gasecki. For an easy completion and a first down. Throwing now, Rosen on first down. Oh, you gotta be joking me. Come on, team. Picked it up. The 20. And they bring this one back. It's a fumble recovery and a Seattle touchdown. A big boy. Best part of his game, he'll jump over you at the end of a route and go get the football. From the gun on third down, it's Rosen. Wide open receiver. There we go, Kaseki. Thank you. Now 
Rose and looking to throw. There you go, Devontae Parker. There you go, Gesaki. First touchdown. Only two more for a depth trade upgrade. Fifth touchdown now on the year. As it's on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This is third and 16. From the gun, it's Wilson. He's going to flip one out here. Good job, D. After the sack, they'll come up now third and Oh my gosh, man. Dude, this line, they just can't make adjustments. Uh, no run call here. They'll look to throw instead. Try to lay one up deep. And Parker, come on, kid. Incomplete. Uh, give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to be that the offensive staff spend the entire halftime just working with them on here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half nice first on third down wilson there we go there we go keep moving things forward almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play from the gun it's rosen that's complete to his I can't believe he completed that. <laughs> 13 at a Dolphin first down. Like so many tight ends nowadays, they have no problem at all putting him in the slot and letting him go to work, and that's a nice pitch and catch right there for a first down. Throws it in the offense with a first and 10, and he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. And he'll give it here to his running back. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Tough running there. That's a hard earn four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. To throw on second and six. Rose and that's twice that Parker can't bring it in. A lot of contact, no call, and it's third down. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. From the shotgun, it's Rosen. Well, the two men come together, and it's incomplete. Excellent work to finish. No separation. Fourth down. Didn't have a receiver open downfield as it turned out. Couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It's way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. They're not ready for this, man. They're not ready for this. They still playing soccer. Y'all playing the wrong football. They're going on fourth down. Rosa. Oh, he's got a man wide. There we go. He'll get this one down near the 20 yard line. Just shot. How many yards does he have? A big pick up there. 20 yards as they convert on Ford. Rosen now. Perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. They want to go to the air again with Rosen. His throw caught. Bruh, Gesecki may save this for us. Hot potato. Mike Gesecki with his second TD of the game, his sixth on the year. As they are now just an extra point away from making this a three-point game. I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? You know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air because right now we're seeing a big-time performance, aren't we? That's two touchdowns so far in this game. Where'd you pull that one from? And, you know, every now and then I actually listened in history class. <laughs> and you're, you're just a scholar all the way around. You're reading. All oh, he misses this. Yeah. You know, I just Woo. get what I can. The extra point was hooking, but he does make it through. And the lead's down to a field goal at 17-14. So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. And out now 
come the Seahawks. Certainly want to avoid what they had to do last possession, and that was punt the football, because this, this game's starting to tighten up. In a basketball sense, you'd think about taking a little bit of the air out of the ball, right? Maybe milk some clock, limit the possessions. In this case, they might want to do the same thing, but control the game offensively. Put together some first downs, put together a drive, and keep it away from them. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Here's Carson. There we go, Christian Wilskins. Way to get in there, kiddo. The scrimmage and no more. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. Then he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom. Quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play. Holding them to no gain. Oh, no safety. That was your coverage. Rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. The previous play, they barely got back to the line of scrimmage. Now they pick up over 30 yards. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. From the shotgun, Wilson. Good D, good D. I like that. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he'd been able to haul that one in. Second and ten now, Wilson. Wide open receiver complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Wilson now. Six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. To throw again is Wilson. Looking sideline. Made him throw it away. That was smart. Well, you know you don't want to make a mistake in that area, so you make sure you make a smart throw. Throw it out towards the sidelines. If you overshoot your gun, so be it. It's just the incompletion that we saw there. On second down, it's Zimmerman. He's able to work free for about six down to the eight. Oh, no, not Taco. Here as it looks like we've got a Dolphin shaken up on the play. We'll get an update when we come back to Miami. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Wilson operating from the gun. And this is caught at the eight. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Oh, he had a shoulder tear. Third down, and that usually means running play, but we have seen him throw out of that formation. And sure enough, they snuck the tight end out on that one, wound up hitting him for a first down. Wilson. Oh, get your hand up, and Ginkle, whatever your name is. Ray Ray McLeod, his first touchdown on the year. Yeah, the Seahawks are able to stretch that lead out a bit further. A good sustained drive there in this third quarter, capping it off with a touchdown to give them a nice two-score advantage. It was actually a fun one to watch, wasn't it? I mean, for me, seeing the mix of what they did, how they moved the ball downfield, very sharp, too. Each and every play seemed to be executed with, with great dispatch. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Dolphins offense now working their way back onto the field. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. From the 29, Rosen. I had to throw it away on that. To no one here. He throws it away. And now it's third. Wagner was on uh, Gusecki. I had no dump off. Here's Rosen to throw. Oh, Gusecki, come on, kiddo. 
I would dare say that these guys would have liked to have given their defense a little bit more rest since they gave up a touchdown their last time out. But alas, my man, that's not going to happen. Yep, they're going to have to grab those helmets, get right back out there. We got to convert. And they'll indeed go for it with Rosen. There we go. There we go. Yes, sir. Needed that. First before he's taken down at the 36. Well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it. But in the end, great execution. A six-yard gain, and it all works out. Back now in Miami. It's Dolphin football, but they trail here as we get set for the fourth. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. And the hole closes quickly there. He gets maybe a couple up to the 38. You don't want no problem. You don't want no problem for me. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. We ain't giving up nothing today. Hatchet. Hatchet. My name on that. Mike by four. Mike by four. Mike by four. Watch the screen. Hatchet. Now Rosen looking to throw. And that is incomplete. Uh, how is he staying with you? And there he could not hang on. It's third down. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long. And they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. Is he close to 150? Pass midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. He's been big. Two touchdowns earlier. Now he's got a first down here. There we go. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple scores. And they've really got to get some yards in chunks. And they know the defense doesn't want to give those up. Well, I need my defense to be rested. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? And again this time to the Come on, Kalen, hit the hole, kid. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Now it's Rosen. The complete. This is Albert Wilson. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 29-yard line. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll be brought down at about the 25 after a pickup of four. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. From the 25 on second down, Rosen, he's going to take... Did he catch it? Did Devontae catch it? No way, dude. What a ball. His fourth touchdown on the year. As they are now just an extra point away from making this a three. Is that a ball? So they get the scores. I think he got both feet in. No way. One. Knee. Let's go. Now they've got to deliver and finish things off. Sanders on for the extra point. Oh, come on. It's up and good. And this now there we go, Sanders. 21 ball game. So that one a long 11 play drive. And it winds up in six points for the Dolphins. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Seattle offense now set to come back out on the field. I don't want to say that they're completely against the wall here, Charles, but all of a sudden, with the run that they've been on on the other sideline, this is down to a three-point game. they got to be careful. Not much space from their back to Wilson. Oh, no! Almost. Almost worked out for us. On plays like this when the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back. Because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other Great tackle, Godfrey. 
or have moved away from it. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Wilson now to throw on third down. It's caught by Roberts. Oh, come on, people. 14 and a Seahawk first. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down, went his way, it worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. They run on first down, but it only produces a gain of two. It's second down now. Jerome Baker there on the tackle. They run again with Carson and give him about five as he gets this up to the 48-yard line. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. And the Seahawks on third down. They've hit on six of their eight tries. Very good. Here it's third and three. Here's Wilson. He's got his tight end on the corner route. It's complete. And he's got another first down as he's brought down. At the right, this guy's rushing. Couldn't just sit on it here, could they? Had to throw the ball on third down. Got the big completion in the pickup. Fresh set of downs now. They've got to feel great. And defensively a backbreaker. Throwing is Wilson. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Tyler Lockett was the target there. But it's going to be second down. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. Here's Wilson. Going to throw again. It's complete to Lockett. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 20-yard line. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. From the red zone now, here's Wilson on first down. Why is he that open, Godfrey? Ugh. Touchdown. Making a hat trick for Russell Wilson. Three touchdown passes now. Yeah, the Seahawks are able to stretch that lead out a bit further. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic. But usually what it means is that rather than just winning with height or even speed, they use their quickness to find a way to get open. Well, tall, short, wide, skinny, whatever. There it results in a touchdown. And not a bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard line. The Dolphins offense now heads back on the field. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went, no adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Ball on the 30, they'll come up with a second and five. Now Rosen. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. The Dolphins on third down. I mean, I can't, I can't do anything. I can't move the ball. This will be third and five. Out of the gun, here's Josh Rosen. Well, this is caught by Williams. I don't understand the the breakdown, the stopping. That doesn't make any sense to me. Clock management definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agree. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. On first down, it's Rosen. He completes it to Wilson. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. A Miami first down on a 14-yard pickup. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. 
They've got a first and ten as they search for a late score. They'll look to throw on first down with Josh Rosen. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds. Says oh, come on. Get your feet down. Second down. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Here's Rosen. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 24-yard line. Of course, remember, you need a touchdown here and a field goal. Doesn't matter the order, but they have to get it done and get it done fast. To throw is Rosen. That's going to be caught. There we go. Good job, Parker. Devontae Parker with his second touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. As they are now just an extra point away from making this a three-point game. He got pushed in. Thank you. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side. Get that high hop. And hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. Extra I got three timeouts. Sanders. I'm going to kick it off regular. Let's get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Dang, Rosen's thrown for 315. out of the field and this game not quite over yet and we'll likely see him take all three timeouts defensively so they can't just kneel this one out they're gonna have to try to run a few plays you're exactly right they've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand they'll start out on the ground with Carson Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Another running situation on the doorstep as they come up second and ten. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Carson. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. On third down, Carson. Call it a gain of five. Fourth down now. I don't understand that. I don't know why they would run it. As the clock will stop with just 70 seconds left to go in the game. Now here's Michael Dixon as he's on to punt for Seattle. Returnable for Grant. There you go, Grant. I appreciate that. Turn it springs him for 25. And out will come the offense as they take over. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. And we have seen a decline in the numbers. Where does the fault lie? Just him? Maybe the guys up front combination? Well, as you and I both know, it's almost always a collective deal. But in this case, I think maybe the offensive line got a little overconfident. They had blocked so well in the first half, picked up on what the defense was doing. I think we've seen an adjustment now that they have not picked up on, and now they're being a little bit overwhelmed. Rosen to throw. Wilson's got it complete. There we go. Out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. Give him 12 yards there, and the Dolphins have a first down. Now 
it's Rosen. Caught, it's Wilson. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. There we go. Getting a little closer. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Throwing now is Rosen. That's complete to Williams out of the backfield. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks 21. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. 33 seconds left. He'll look to throw. Oh, why is that inaccurate? Why, Josh? He was looking for his tight end, Mike Kosicki. And it's third down. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. You got nothing. Check, check, check. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. No way, Gasecki. Let's go. What a ball. Touchdown. Clear. Mike Gesicki with time running out. And the Dolphins are going to jump back in front. How many people are watching this one right here who gave up? Because that score, they might want to try and rush back into this stadium. <laughs> yeah. What looks like is going to be the game deciding score, although a little bit of time left, so you can't count your chickens before they're hatched. Well, they better come back in here and watch this one because you and I, we're not going anywhere. We want to see this one play out. There we go. Good make, Sanders. Sanders. Field goal doesn't do it. They got to get a touchdown. So the drive there took six plays, and it ends with a touchdown for the Dolphins. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. So Wilson and the Seahawks down 35-31, 25 seconds remaining. And they're in danger of a third straight loss as they come up on first and 10. Play that pass. Here's Wilson. Now a desperation throw. Why is he that open? Oh my god! He's across for the touchdown, and it's likely the game winner. You gotta be kidding me! Might be seeing that one on the I played the pass in cover four. How did you get beat that deep? There's nothing like being aggressive, preaching that to your team, and then following through. All the way through. Go ahead and throw one more up there. Why not? Been a great game, and we are not done yet. Myers connects on the PAT, and it would appear, barring some late heroics, they're going to get out of here with a comfort. You got to be joking me, defense. Shortest drives you'll ever see. One play, 75 yards, six points. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is fielded at the chalk of the 10. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. So you're right there, but obviously the clock is not your friend. How do you handle this situation? You're thinking two plays. One to get yourself in position for the second one. Whether you're able to get in the field. Yes, a flag. Give me that. Another deep pass, another Hail Mary. But you're trying to get the first one to a receiver, get out of bounds, and give yourself a chance to set things up for an easier shot at it. Let's see if they can do it. Might be easier said than done.
So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. And we've got a timeout. Nine seconds remaining. You know what? I may have time for one more. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up. If I can get it out of bounds. He's back to throw. And that's going to wind up. What is that? What is that flag? We do have a flag down. Yes! Yes! This home crowd, they're happy with that call. <laughs> I like the way you said happy there, right? The so-called good guys didn't get Let's a see, call. at the 12. That way all afternoon. You We're going to go they special they teams. finally got one. Yes, they did. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. Bro, I don't trust my field goal kicking. One final shot here for Rosen. Yes! Yes, Parker! Gutsy call. Given them the Look at that ball. A few times along the way. <laughs> Woo! This one ended. Yeah, they had, well, I guess nine lives just like a cat <laughs> kept fighting. And there in the end, making the huge play to get the game winner. I guess that's the epitome of you always... Oh, man. If I was Seattle, I'd be so mad. So we had two early turnovers, but, man, we fought back. And with the lead, no chance of a return spoiling this one here on the PAT. So Tech on the extra point for one more. What a finish as they wind up winning this one by... Oh, man. That's the closest game I have played. That was fantastic. Parker, man. Parker and Gusecki. Right, the touchdown to win it. I know that they... Oh man. What's your favorite dessert? You know, what do you want? What do you put on top of your favorite dessert? You put whipped cream. Yeah, whatever. maybe a cherry. There you go. The whipped cream, the cherry, whatever you want to talk about. That's what they put on it. That's a good bounce back week. 391 passing. They got it done. They had two takeaways putting us in the hole early. Keep pace. But whoo. Races they moved at 6. Fought just a little bit harder. And they'll get to stay home again next week. Meanwhile, for Seattle, they are barely afloat. 405 for yeah, Rosen. To rebound next week as they had two Glendale. 31 of 44. 405. Six touchdowns. One pick. Rushing 67 for Kalem, but he was getting shut down late. Gasecki had 15 catches, 202 yards, and three touchdowns. I think we got that depth trait. Preston Williams, six for 62. Parker had 98 yards and three touchdowns. The game winner as well. Let's see. Blocking. We gave up one sack, so that's not bad. Defensively, um, not much. Did we have a sack? We Okay. Christian Wilkins and Vince Beagle both had sacks, and that's, uh, whew, that's pretty much it. I did not want to leave it in my kicker's leg at the end there. Leave a like, comment, sub subscribe as well. <laughs> I can't even speak because I'm so pumped. Appreciate all the love, guys. Tune in for the next episode, and I will see y'all later.